Hey guys, Chris here for Toolman's Guitars and Basses. In today's Guitar Tech Tips, I will show you how to swap pickups in an ES style semi hollow body guitar. In this series, I want to show you how to set up your guitars and basses and how to fix the most common issues without using too many special tools. First of all, you need to be aware of the fact that swapping pickups and especially electronics in an ES style hollow body guitar is very time consuming and it's really easy to scratch the finish around the F hole. You need patience and you have to be very careful. This time I only changed the pickups and uh, you should let us know in the comment section below if you want to see an episode on changing the electronics, parts, switch and everything else. This ES330L has a Bixby, so I'll tape it in a position so that it doesn't move around while I'm working. Let's get rid of the strings first. It's time to pull off the knobs of the two volume pots. You can wrap a fine cloth under it and pull it up like this. If you're lucky, you can get away with only pulling out the two volume parts through the F-hole and solder the new pickups on there. If that doesn't work, you have to loosen all the electronic parts, push them in the body and fiddle around until you can pull out the volume parts through the F-hole that way. Before you loosen the knot on the part, tie a longer piece of string on the shaft. This way you can pull it back in place way easier when you're finished. You can also use a plastic hose to move the parts around in the body and then pull them back in place at the end. You simply take a tight aquarium or surgical hose and put them on the shaft and use that instead of the strings. In case you have to loosen and move around all the electronic parts, you will have to obviously put a string or a hose on all of them. I remove the pig guard first just to make sure I don't scratch it. Then, if you swap both pickups, start with the bridge pickups part. Just as I expected, I will have to loosen all the parts and switch and everything on this guitar because of the wiring. I have to push them in the body, pull them to the middle of the F-hole and then do the wiring. The jack can be really tricky. Try to pull a string through the F-hole and put an old nut or anything else on it. That's going to help you to control and pull back the jack when you're done. I've decided to unsolder the old pickup and wire the new one through the F-hole. I don't want to pull out any parts because it's really narrow and I don't want to scratch the F-hole. Honestly, at this point, I believe I could work in an emergency room easily. <laughs> it's time to remove the old pickups and put the pickup rings on the new ones. These are the 59 clones from Mojo Tone. Since this is a full hollow body guitar, a 330L, I could have made my life way easier and just do everything through the pickup hole here, the bridge pickup hole. But this video is about semi hollow guitars where you have a tone block, a wooden block in the middle and the F hole is your only option.
if you want to make sure that there's no unwanted ground connection, put a shrink tube around the braided pickup wire. You will definitely need tweezers. You can also bend a paper clip to have a hook at the end. And with that, you can also grab things through the F-hole. Shorten the pickup wires if necessary and solder them on the pod the same way the original pickup was. You have to solder the pickup's hot wire on the log and the ground on the backside of the pot. In case you could need some help with soldering, especially with Gibson style braided wires, we have an episode for you. You'll find it in the description box below. And remember, whenever you're soldering, it's super useful to have a third hand or a helping hand. When you're done with soldering, pull all the parts back in their place and tighten the nuts. All that's left to do is put on new strings and adjust the pickup height to your liking. And now it's definitely time for a test ride, finally. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions left. I'd also love to know what you want to see in this series. Don't be afraid of setting up and fixing your guitars yourself. It's time to become your own guitar tech. <laughs> that was a voiceover, dude. Yeah, I'm still looking at you. Mm -hmm.